Hi, I'm Dan Abel, and in this video, we're going to use the right hand rule to relate the directions of velocity, force, and magnetic field. As you learned in a previous lesson, a moving charged particle will create a magnetic field. Similarly, a charged object moving through a magnetic field will experience a magnetic force. We'll learn in a future lesson how to calculate the magnitude of that force, but the focus right now will be on determining its direction. Unlike the electric field and force where they are parallel to each other, the magnetic force is perpendicular to both the movement of the charge and the magnetic field it's moving through. However, we have a useful tool for relating the direction of these three vectors called the right hand rule. You saw another right hand rule in an earlier lesson where you looked at the magnetic field around the current carrying wire. That version of the right hand rule was called the wraparound rule because we put our thumb in the direction of the current and our fingers wrapped around the wire in the direction of the magnetic field. Here's an example of the type of problem we're looking at. We want to identify the direction of the force on a proton when it's moving up the page. So let's look at how to apply the right hand rule to answer this. The way you do it is you take your right hand and you put your thumb in the direction of velocity, your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and then your palm pushes in the direction of the force. One way you can remember this is that your thumb looks like a velocity vector and your fingers look like field lines and then your palm pushes in the direction of the force. So in the case of the problem where we have a field running to the right and the velocity up the page, when we align our thumb and fingers as shown, our palm pushes into the page, giving us a force into the page. And the way we note into the page is a circle with an X because it's like you're looking down the feathers of an arrow. Now, if the charge was negative, we would flip our final answer. In this case, instead of being into the page, our force would be out of the page. And we would note that with a circle with a dot in the middle, like the arrow was coming out towards us. So this would be our force out of the page. Let's see a few more examples of applying the right hand rule. Now we want to find the velocity of an electron that experiences a force down the page. So in this case, we have F and B, and we're looking for V. But just like before, we're going to take our right hand and we're going to point our fingers to the right and make our palm face down. And when we do that, that forces our thumb to point into the page. But this is a negative charge, so we have to flip our final answer and say that the velocity is coming out of the page towards us. Here we have a neutron moving to the right, and the keyword here is neutron. One of the most important things to remember about magnetic force is it only occurs on a moving charged particle. So in this case, no charge means there will be no force. Here we want to find the force on a wire with the current running up the page. And for the purposes of the right hand rule, just remember that a current is just a series of moving charges. So in this case, the current is our velocity. We're going to line our thumb up with the current. We're going to line our fingers up with the magnetic field. And that makes our palm push into the page. So this wire will experience a force into the page. Now you may say, well, wait a minute aren't the electrons moving? Don't we need to flip our final answer? But remember, physicists are positive people. Everything in electrostatics and circuits is defined as the movement of positive charge. With a little bit of practice, you can quickly and accurately determine the direction of the magnetic field, the magnetic force, or the velocity of a charged particle in the field if you know the two of the three.